Hey everyone, my name is Ryan. I'm the Director of Customer Support here at Skimmer, and I'm happy to be giving you this quick demo. One note before we start, you'll want to make the video full screen for the best viewing experience. Many of you probably found your way here because you're running your pool business with a system you're not happy with. A lot of pool professionals still use paper and binders, so maybe that's you. But paper means a lot of hassles and headaches. Well, that's why we built Skimmer specifically for pool professionals, to get rid of those things that cause you pain and problems and waste your time, and make it quicker and easier to run your pool business. In this demo, I'm going to show you how Skimmer does that. So let's get started. First, what is Skimmer? For techs working in the field, it's a mobile app that can optimize their route, record their work, and help communicate with customers, and more. It works on Apple and Android mobile devices, including phones and tablets. The Skimmer app also lets you keep working even if you're offline. So if you service a client in an area where signal is low, it doesn't matter. Skimmer will hold on to your service information and upload it to the cloud when you get good signal again. For employees working in the office, it's a website that puts powerful administrative tools at their fingertips, including route management, customer management, reporting, and billing. And because Skimmer is cloud-based, the app and the web communicate with each other. This means you can manage your business and how customers are serviced no matter where you and your employees are located. You can also choose what access each employee will have. We take security very seriously, so you can restrict an employee to see only the work assigned to them. Or if you want them to have more responsibility, their access can be increased. Also, techs can only see customer phone numbers and emails if you allow them to, and they are never able to see the rates you're charging the client. Now let's look at some specific features. On your screen, you should see the Skimmer app and our website, and we're gonna show you how both of them work. First, it all starts with customers. So here's what you can do with your customer accounts. We're here on our customers list, and we're gonna open up the account for a specific customer. Now here's their general profile. You'll see that we have boxes for each category of customer information, basic billing and contact information, and then information about their service location. Now let's edit this service location screen and we'll show you more of what we can keep track of. You can give the location an identification code, and you can also keep track of things like gate code and dog's name. And here is where you can also start keeping track of how you're gonna charge your customers and what you're gonna charge them. Note that there's an add button here. That's because you can add multiple service locations under a customer account, and they're very easy to manage. Look over here and you'll see that this customer has two locations. And if we wanna to switch to the second location and manage that, all I have to do is click on it. And now I've got the information for that location. And if I wanna go back, I just click and I go back. From this screen, you can also see and edit or delete individual route assignments. And this change is gonna to get to your text device automatically. The next time they do a sync, that change will be there. There's no getting their route book and making any changes on a piece of paper. And there's no sending a special message to the tech. Skimmer just takes care of it for you. You can also see at a glance if there are any work orders that are outstanding for this customer. And again, you can edit or delete them from here. Now this storing and tracking of customer information is also very useful in the field. So let's look at the app here and we'll tap into our customer list and we'll go into the same customer's profile. Now, have you ever been in the field and you wanted to call a customer, but you couldn't because their number was in a route book that was with another tech, or maybe their gate code changed and that binder wasn't updated? Well, that's not the case with Skimmer. You always have access to all of your customers' current information. No updating route sheets, no printing them out and trying to distribute them. So if I want to call the customer directly from their profile, I just find the number and tap on it and my phone can call them. And if I want to see the gate code, I just find it in the service location box. But what if I arrive and I learn that the gate code has changed? Well, I'll tap the edit button. Change the gate code, save it. And the next time my app syncs up to the cloud, this change is gonna be distributed to the whole system. Let's go back to the customer profile on the website and we'll look at some more features. You can store up to 20 photos on a customer's profile for internal reference. Many of our customers use these to keep photos of client pool equipment or a funny gate latch or anything that you want visual evidence of. You can take these profile photos right in the field through the app or admins can upload these photos from the computer. Here you can see what equipment is attached to this pool and you can access full service history for this body of water. 
There's also more options and more things we can do here, but we won't get into it right now because this is a quick demo. It's also very easy to add another tab for more bodies of water. Did your customer get a spa and now you need to service that? Well, click add pool and you can add that new body of water. And then when you're on site, you'll have a tab for each body of water so that you can service them individually. Now that you have some information about your customers, how do you start servicing their pool? Well, that starts with creating routes. So we'll show you how you can do that on the web. We'll go to routes and then route builder. We've identified an employee that doesn't have a route for today, so we're gonna create it. I click the drop down list here and I can see all my customers and I can pick the ones I wanna add to this route. So you see, I've created a route here and I've assigned the same basic information to each. I gave them weekly frequency and we're starting today. And right now there's not a stop date. Now they're currently showing in the order that I created them, but we want the most efficient route, the one that saves time, which is gonna save money. So we'll click on the optimize route button. And here we can choose our start point and our end point and Skimmer is going to give us the most efficient route. And we're not limited to choosing from our customer addresses. We can also create what's called company addresses. So do you have an office or a favorite coffee shop that you start the day at? Well, you can set that as your start or end point as well. Now we'll optimize. And we see that using our start and end point, Skimmer was able to give us the most efficient route. But let's change it up. What if we decide we wanna optimize on a different start and stop point? Well, we can do it all over again. I'll leave the start point the same, but we're gonna change it up with the end. And we see that once again, Skimmer rearranged it to give us the most efficient route from start to finish. Well, I wanna work this route today, so I wanna get this route on my app as quickly as possible. So let's go to the app, and I'm going to manually sync my device, and that's gonna pull down all the new data onto my phone. Okay, now we can look and see that this route is on my phone now. It even shows me the items that I have to have on my truck today. And here is the route that I created right here on my phone and I can start working. What if it turns out I have to leave work early today so I can't do the last couple of service stops? Well, it's very easy to temporarily move those to another tech. I'll simply tell Skimmer that I wanna move some customers. I'll select the customers I want. I'll choose the tech I wanna move them to and the day I wanna move it to, which is today. And you can see those two stops are now no longer on my list for today. But if we go back to the route and we look at the tech I reassigned them to, we see that there they are. And because this method defaults to a one-time move, that means next week the schedule is gonna go back to normal on its own. I don't have to do anything. No trading any route books and no driving to meet any other tech and try to get everything straight. It's done in seconds. Now, before we actually complete a route stop, Let's look at some other things that you can customize for your business. We'll go back to the website for this. First, we'll look at service emails. And you have a lot of customization options here. You can set the default header and subject and message. You can blind copy yourself on all the reports if you would like. And you can choose what information from the service stop will go to the client. Chemical readings, dosages, checklist items, it's all in your control. You can even choose to require at least one photo before the tech is able to finish the route stop. Now that actually ties in with a very useful feature on the app. Since Skimmer does not upload photos from your device photo album, the tech must be on site in order to attach a photo to the service report. It's a great way to demonstrate both to you and to your clients that your tech is actually on site performing the work. Here we see even more customization options about where you can actually send the emails. If you have customers that don't want one, you can add them to a do not email list. And once you toggle the service email on, they will send automatically when a tech completes their service. This makes it so quick and easy to communicate with the customers. Once you've set it up, it's automatic. No filling out paper door hangers or worrying that they're gonna blow away in the wind. Skimmer delivers the message for you every time.
You can also customize all your chemical reading and dosage categories. Everything you see here is fully changeable. You can edit, delete, and you can add more categories as much as you need. And you can customize all the available values for your text to choose from when they're servicing the client. For instance, under chemical dosages, let's click liquid chlorine and we'll look at the edit screen. You'll see that you can set all the values that your tech will be able to choose from, the unit of measurement, the cost to you per unit of measurement, and the price to the customer per unit of measurement. You can also choose whether you want to track that dosage without charging extra if you have a flat rate for this customer. This takes all of the guesswork out of it for your techs in the field. There's no worrying about writing in the values that they need. You've already given them the values to choose from, they just have to tap on one. Next, we'll look at the service checklist. These are specific tasks that you can create for pool service. And again, these are fully customizable. You can add your own checklist items and you can edit what's already here. For instance, if I wanted to, I could completely change this checklist item. Note also that you have a description that would be on the app, that's what the tech will see, and then a description when complete, which is what the customer will see on the email if you're choosing to share these. Only the completed tasks are going to appear on the email. If your tech doesn't swipe to complete something, it's not going to appear as something unfinished, so you don't have to worry about that. Now this is the universal list, so whatever you set here is going to appear for all pools, but you can also set custom checklist items on each pool's profile page and they will only appear for that pool. And for any of these settings that we're showing you on the website, you can make these changes, have your tech sync their app in the field, and those changes will appear for them. It's so much quicker and easier than changing paper forms and physically meeting your techs to distribute them. It saves you time and effort. Now, what's it like for the tech in the field? What does it take to complete a route stop? Let's look at the app. And the first thing we'll show you is if you look at the bottom, there's a blue bar that offers to give you directions. If you want turn-by-turn -turn directions to this next stop, you can tap that and you'll get it. But for this demo, we're gonna assume that I'm already where I need to be. Note that if I also need to make some route rearrangements for the day, I can do that on the fly right here. All I have to do is tap, hold, and then drag and drop, and change. And I can choose whether I wanna save that as my new default order, or whether I wanna reset to the original. Okay, let's get some work done. We're gonna tap into our first customer. Now, the first thing I did when I arrived is I sold the customer a new skimmer basket. So I'm gonna add that as an item real quick. And I'll just type in a very basic description. And I've already sold that to the customer, so I'm gonna swipe right, and that's gonna mark it as installed. Now we won't get into all the details here in this demo, but we do have a shopping list system and this ties into that. You can access our equipment database for this, or you can set up your own products list to pull from, or like you see I did here, I could just type in something really quick and mark it as installed. This helps you keep track of the items that your clients need and then mark them as installed to indicate you've sold them. And Skimmer is going to remember that for you so that you can be sure to get paid for every item you sell to the client. No more writing down an item and then forgetting about it and accidentally giving it away for free. Skimmer remembers it all so that you can be sure to get paid for everything. Now scroll down, here's our service checklist. We vacuumed, emptied the basket, and we skimmed the surface. So we're gonna swipe to complete those. Now we wanna indicate our readings and I'm just gonna quickly choose random readings. But you'll see that with the slider, you can choose the pre-selected values that you set on the website. I can slide and choose. It takes seconds per category. Now we'll move down to chemical dosages and you'll see it works exactly the same way. The values that you set up on the website are here and your tech can just swipe to choose any of them. No guesswork and it's quick and easy. You can also add internal notes. This is just for internal company reference. And now we get to the email. Now we're gonna stick with the default email message here. If I wanted to make some edits to it before sending, I could. But note that there's also an opportunity now to take a photo of a nice clean pool. Now I'm not in front of a nice clean pool right now, but I can still take a photo of my computer screen. This is where we're shooting the demo for you. And I'll take that photo and choose to use it. And you see, that it's now attached to the email, and when the email goes out, this photo will be attached to it. When you're done, tap the Finish button in the top right corner. And we see that job is now marked as complete, and the service email is on its way. 
And then the next time your app syncs to the cloud, all of this information is going to be saved in customer history and accessible anytime from anywhere. No more hunting for old paper files. It's all right here in the system. What about jobs that aren't weekly service? Repairs, filter cleanings, pool openings. That's why we have work orders. So let's go back to the website and we'll go to settings and work order types. Here we have just a small selection of possible work order types. These are fully customizable. You can create as many as you need to fit any type of job that you perform. Let's look at how you would customize a work order type. We're going to edit the repair work order. You see, you can give each one a name and a color code. And if you want them to recur every so often, you can set that here. This is perfect for jobs that are going to come back around like filter cleanings or pool openings. We see also there's more customization around communicating the emails to the clients, whether you want text to be able to create this type of work order, and whether you want also to require a photo to finish these. You can provide other general information about this job type as well. So any work that you know is going to be needed for this type of repair, and for instance also what your base price to the customer is going to be. And then you can also decide what you want to go in the email template for this particular work order type. Now let's look on the right side here. Notice this checklist box. You saw the service checklist items on the regular route stop. Well, you can create them for each work order type as well, and you can make them specific to the type of job that's being performed. You may wonder what a work order is going to look like on the app. Well, let's show you. We're on today's route still, so we're going to tap the plus sign in the top right hand. And we'll see we have access to our work order types. We're going to choose one and then choose the customer that we want to assign it to. Here we can also edit some of the basic information, but then when we're ready, we hit save. And now we see that that work order is a regular part of our work for the day. Just tap into it like you would a regular route stop. And again, all of this information saves to the cloud. Here's just a couple of the many reasons why that's useful. Now left on its own, the app is going to sync to the cloud periodically, but I wanna go ahead and push these updates to the cloud right now. So I'll go to settings and I'll tap perform sync. On the website, let's go to routes and route dashboard. And if we click onto my route for the day, what do we see? The route stop that we completed and the new work order that we created. So if I'm an admin in the office, or even if I'm a boss and I'm out in the field with my mobile device, I can see my text progress throughout the day as they complete their work. Now this solves one of the major problems of a paper system, because now I can see when my techs have started each job, how long they were there, and the work that they completed. And I can see it all right from my mobile device or my computer. You could literally run your whole company's route from your couch. What if I want to focus on particular service information from last month, such as my chemical dosages? Well, on the website, I'll go to reports and choose the report that's specifically for chemical dosages. Here we see a summary of chemical dosages by tech within our chosen date range. If I want to see more detail, all I have to do is ask. And suddenly I find out a lot more about the dosages that were administered, who they were given to, on what day, what that's costing me, and what I'm making. If you want to view it by customer, you can also see it that way. This is a quick and easy way to see how efficient and profitable you are, both by tech and by customer. Skimmer collects all of this information and puts it together automatically. Imagine how long it would take to manually collect all of these figures from paper and binders and put it together. With Skimmer, that's a thing of the past. Now what about getting paid? We all like getting paid, but it's usually the part that everybody hates to prepare for. Why? It takes forever. And it's a ton of mind-numbing work to collect all of that information from paper binders and turn them into invoices. It's a pain. But let's look at how Skimmer does it. We have various features around invoicing and more coming, but for this demo, we're going to focus on one feature, our integration with QuickBooks Online. Now, it's not required that you use QuickBooks Online if you're going to use Skimmer, but it is one option. Not only can you import client accounts and products from QuickBooks into Skimmer, but you can use Skimmer to auto-generate invoices in QuickBooks Online. I've got some basic settings chosen here, and I'm going to take you to the next screen.
We're not going to go through every screen and every function because that's a full demo in itself. But in general, Skimmer lets you choose the date range you want to bill for, gathers all that service information together, including completed jobs, chemical dosages, installed items, completed work orders, and it helps you put it all together. This is information you don't have to collect because it's already been uploaded to the cloud, and Skimmer has already remembered all of it for you. Then Skimmer helps you prepare and send that information to QuickBooks Online and creates the invoices for you. For some of our customers, the billing process has dropped from taking a full day or more to taking maybe an hour. There's no more endless nights and weekends just trying to get paid, no more stacks of route books or trying to read a text handwriting or racking your brain trying to remember exactly which model of pool pump you installed for a client. There's no more calculators, no more trying to figure out how much chlorine you put in that one pool this month and how much you should be charging for it. Skimmer's already done it all for you. You're saving time and making more money. So that's a quick overview of Skimmer. We have a lot more features now and we're adding to them all the time, so there's great stuff to come. Skimmer was designed from day one, top to bottom, for pool service professionals to help you run your business better. It's user-friendly and simple to learn, and it solves many of the pains and problems you experience with the paper system. And you're not left by yourself to figure out how to use it. Our best-in-class customer support team is here and ready to help, and you have 24-7 access to our library of tutorial videos. So, are you ready to put those binders away? Ready to ditch that ancient paper system and get back to enjoying your work? Well, the time is now. Skimmer is setting the new standard for modern pool professionals, and we can do the same for you. If you want to learn more about Skimmer and how it can take your business to the next level, give us a call or send us an email, and we're happy to answer your questions. Or if you're ready to get started, click the sign up button on our homepage and take advantage of our 60-day money-back guarantee. You can open your account immediately, and our quick start guide will help you get going.